everyone! みなさんこんにちはお元気ですか How are you today? I hope you're all doing great! Today, we're going to look at this! ta d a This grammar, something に行きます来ます帰ります行きます means to go 来ます means to come 帰ります means to go home or to return somewhere you originally come from So, today, it's not that simple <laughs> I think you know how to say I go to blah 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 For example, this 学校へ行きます学校へ行きます So, 学校へ school 行きます means to go So, I go to school But, this time, as you can see this Something に行きます来ます帰ります Something に The point is here Something に part So let me explain this What are we going to put before に? Hmm Is it adjective? k y o s h i Is it noun? ねえ、名詞 Or is it verbs? ねえ、動詞 The answer is 動詞 Verb And 名詞 Nouns So you don't need to think about adjective right now Because I think you know, but we have a lot of adjectives. But don't worry today. Don't worry for this video today. Yet. Maybe in the future? Not yet. Don't worry. But this time we're going to look at verb and nouns. Okay. The verbs in Japanese, doshi. Nouns in Japanese, meishi. Then we can use this verb or meishi in this grammar. Something ni. Ikimasu, kimasu, kaerimasu. And let's look at example sentence. And then I will explain the meaning of this grammar. Okay, so for example, please guess what it means, okay? これです。昨日の夜、コンビニへアイスクリームを買いに行きました。昨日の夜、コンビニへアイスクリームを買いに行きました。Okay, this sentence. So in this case, 昨日の夜 last night, 昨日 yesterday, 夜 night, so last night, コンビニ convenience store, え、え is the particle functioned as direction, like towards somewhere, え to in English, to somewhere. So then, コンビニえ convenience store, え ice cream を ice cream? Since we're using mashita, so it means we're talking about the past, right? Because we already said 昨日の夜 last night. So, 買いに行きました When you use verb plus に行きました you can use this grammar to describe or explain your purpose, why you went there this time, why you went. To a convenience store. So if I translate into English this sentence, it will be Last night I went to a convenience store to buy ice cream. I went to a convenience store to buy ice cream last night. So, 買いに行きました。ね、買いに行きました。So, let's look at grammatical part. Before に買いに買います is the must form. So we're going to use the must form. You don't need to change the te form, ta form, nai form. You don't need to think about those forms today. But this time you think about must form. But when you put verb here, you have to cut must and just add ni right after that. So kaimasu, drop must, kai ni ikimasu. And then you can describe your purpose. So, ne, to buy something. Kai ni ikimasu. What about, for example, this is really random, but let's say you go to a pool to swim, right? So, if you want to say that, to swim, you can say, oyogimasu. Oyogimasu is to swim, right? So, oyogi ni ikimasu. Oyogi ni ikimasu. To eat. Tabe ni ikimasu. To buy. 買いに行きます。Right? We did already. To play sports. スポーツをしに行きます。Because します。Right? Do sports. します。So, しに行きます。Like that. Okay, so let's look at another example sentence here. Okay, how about this sentence? 友達とショッピングモールへ映画を
見に行きました友達とショッピングモールへ映画を見に行きました What does it mean? I'll give you five seconds いいですか五、四、三、二、一、ピピー、終了 !OK! So, that means 友達 friends ショッピングモールショッピングモール映画、ムービー、見に行きました。見ます。to watch。so that means I went to a shopping mall to watch a movie with my friends。ok。いいですか ?I went to a shopping mall to watch a movie with my friends。by the way。皆さん映画好きですか ?do you like movies? If you have any suggestions, like really good movies, I really appreciate if you can give me a list of movies that you like to watch or movies that you recommend. Please write in the comment sections below. m a t t e m a s I'm excited. Okay, let's look at the next example sentence here. Uchi e wasure mono wo tori ni kaerimasu. Uchi e wasure mono wo tori ni kaerimasu. So, what does it mean? Again, I'll give you five seconds. Ikimasu. Go. Yo. San. Mi. Ich. Pipi. Okay, so that means, uchi. Home. Your home. Wasure mono. Do you know this verb? Wasure mas. Wasure ma means to forget. Mono means things. So, wasure mono is something you forgot. It's something you forgot. So, うちへ忘れ物を取りに帰ります。取ります means to take something. 帰ります means to go home. So, I go home to get things that I forgot. Things that I forgot to bring. I go home to take or get something that I forgot to bring. ね、私はとても忘れっぽいんです。Do you know 忘れっぽい Okay, here. 忘れっぽい means forgettable. So that means I'm really forgettable. ねえ、忘れっぽいんです。皆さんはどうですか大丈夫ですか先生、昨日食べたご飯も忘れちゃったかもしれない。I'm not sure what I ate last night. Ah, I really forgot. 忘れちゃった。<笑>ねえ、皆さん覚えてますか ?Okay, how about this pattern? So from now on, we're not g o n n a use the verb. 動詞は使いません。We're not going to use the verb. Instead, we're going to use nouns. Nouns plus ni ikimasu, kimasu, kaerimasu. Okay? So, this noun has a condition. You cannot put all the nouns there. It's like, for example, enpitsu ni ikimasu. No. Like, keshigomu ni ikimasu. No. Ramen ni ikimasu. No. You cannot use those nouns. You can only use nouns that describe actions. So, for example, kaimono. Kaimono is a noun, shopping. But when you say shopping, kaimono, you can think about the actions, right? Buying things. Looking around in the shopping mall and potentially you buy something. Kaimono. So, let's look at this example sentence here. Konshu matsu, depato e kaimono ni ikimasu. Konshu matsu, depato ni kaimono ni ikimasu. 今週末 What does that mean? 覚えてますか今週 means this week. 末 is the end of something, right? So that means 今週末 means this weekend. This weekend, デパートへ department store. 買い物に shopping. 買い物に行きます So that means I'm going to this department store for shopping, right? Shopping. ね買い物 To buy things. 買い物 Another example here. ta d a 公園へお花見に行きます。公園へお花見に行きます。That means 公園 park. お花見お花見 is like seeing, looking, watching, observing these flowers in front of you. ね、could be cherry blossom because we are in the spring season right now. So ね、let's think about for this example sentence. Let's think about cherry blossom. Imagine cherry blossom, please. 
ですね。桜を想像、イマジンしてください。ね。So, so this means I go to a park to see cherry blossom. お花見。When people say お花見 we imagine flower, of course, お花 and food. ね、もち、だんご、or like お酒、like alcohol, or even like a juice and We gather under the tree, the flower, and then we talk and have fun. ねえ。皆さんはお花見をしたことがありますか Have you done this お花見 activities? I do recommend. If you have a chance, I do recommend. Please do お花見 activities with your families and friends. It will be really fun. ねえ。やってみてください。Please try. Today, we looked at these two, right? Verb plus に行きます、来ます、帰ります。And nouns, but nouns, action nouns, like 買い物、お花見。ね、those action nouns, plus に行きます、来ます、帰ります。And those two are describing purpose. Why you go, why you went there, why you go back, why you come here to do blah 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 for something. はい。では、お疲れ様でした。ね、you did really great job. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video or if you find this video really helpful, I really hope you do. I really appreciate if you give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. またねー。